I am Saud and by the end of this video you shall understand what page replacement is really about. Let's say I have uh, two processes. I'll name this P1 and I'll name this P2 and assume that uh, each of these processes is of size uh, 3 units and let's say my main memory is of size uh, 2 units. Now I cannot place these processes in memory because they are larger in size so I'll divide these processes and the memory in uh, identical blocks I'll divide uh, P1 in uh, 3 parts I'll uh, divide P2 in 3 parts and I'll uh, divide memory in uh, 2 parts so now each of these parts is of 1 unit the parts of the processes are called as uh, pages and the parts of the memory are called as frames so each frame can hold one page I'll uh, name the pages I'll name this page as 1 this as 2 this is 3 this is 4 this is 5 and let's say this is 6 now assume that I need to place these pages in the uh, in the memory frames in this sequence 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 5 and 6 so that is I need page uh, 1 in uh, memory then I need page 2 then uh, I need page 2 again maybe uh, it's a for loop or something then I need page 3 and then 4, 5, 6, 5 and 6 I'll uh, draw the uh, blocks of blo the frames of memory and uh, the memory is uh, of size uh, 2 units now initially the uh, memory is empty then I need to place uh, page 1 in the uh, memory so I'll uh, make one of these frames be occupied by page 1 the other frame of the memory remains empty next I need uh, page 2 in the memory so I'll uh, one will remain where it was and the second frame of the memory is empty so I'll place 2 over there now I need uh, 2 again so I won't have to make any changes to the memory because 2 is already there so this is 1 and this is 2 next I need to place page 3 in memory so I'll have to remove one of these pages I'll uh, remove one of these let's say I remove one so I'll place page 3 in place of page 1 and 2 is let's say where it uh, was next I need to place page 4 so I'll have to remove one of these again I'll remove 2 let's say and I'll place 4 in place of 2 next I need page 5 so I'll uh, remove one of these let's say I remove uh, 3 and I place page 5 in place of 3 and page 4 will remain where it was next I need page 6 so I'll remove again one of these let's say I remove 5 and I place 6 in place of 5 4 will remain where it was next I need to place page 5 so I'll have to again remove one of these let's say I uh, I'll let 6 be where it is and let's say in place of 4 I'll place page 5 next I need page 6 in memory and uh, page 6 is already there in uh, these frames so I wouldn't have to make any changes 6 will be where it is and 5 will remain where it is now those instances where I didn't have to replace a page in the memory are called as hits so this is a hit because uh, in order to place page 2 I didn't have to make any changes in the memory and those instances where I had to remove one of the pages to place another page are called as false so now uh, for this block I had, to remove I had to remove one of the pages I removed page 1 and I placed page 3 in place of that so this is a fault next even this is a fault because I had to replace uh, 2 in order to place 4 this is again a fault because I had to replace uh, 3 in order to place 5 then uh, this is again a fault because I had to remove 5 and place 6 in place of that now this is a uh, this is again a fault and this is a hit because in order to place 6 I didn't have to replace any of these pages because 6, six is already existing in the uh, memory 
so this is a hit now we have certain algorithms such as FIFO, LRU and uh, some others which uh, are designed to increase the number of hits this is how we were able to place the entire sequence in memory so that each of these uh, each of these pages could be processed by the processor at the right time thank you very much for listening